Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So we're up early and we're heading out ice fishing for some hake. Just having the last couple sips of my coffee. Have our thermos coffees going. We gotta load up the truck and head on out to the ice, all right? We'll see you guys out there. hours in the morning, it's about five in the morning, we're all set up on the heat grounds. So we're now set up inside of the hut. It's just a little windy outside, but we're at about 70 feet and we're essentially just fishing them the way we would fish our burbot. Just pounding bottom. We have our glow jigs on, just a piece of bait on it, and hopefully they just come in and hit. We've only been fishing for about 15 minutes. So far nothing, but you never know what'll roll through. All right, so we've been here for a few hours now and we've only marked a couple fish. It's been pretty slow. But the sun's about to start coming up and hopefully the bite will pick up as well. Just really slow. Well, we'll see, hopefully our luck picks up. So it's pretty windy today, so we popped up the thermal hut and we pegged it all down. We also threw some snow over it and then we put a peg on the inside. It's pretty important for these windy days just so your hut doesn't fly up over you while you're out there. Also, if you're new to ice fishing, it is a good investment to buy a thermal hut. I know they're pretty pricey, but it is worth it in the end. You do get what you pay for. Well, how was it out there? Well, it's windy. Uh, not much going on. More people are showing up, but the bite's not, uh, not picking up. Hopefully as, it, uh, hopefully as the sun comes up, start. at least it's getting warm out, get comfortable, because we're in for the long haul. See what we get. Yeah, the sun's coming up. Yeah. Nice red hake. Yeah, big fatty. Look at this. It's got a little belly on her. Look at that. Yep. Super cool. Red hake. All right, so that there's a red hake. Not a monster. Just a little one. Just a little one. But still a good eater. Mm-hmm. So you catch these guys. Um, they're saltwater fish, but they come into the bay here, and it's brackish water. So technically we're saltwater fishing, Yep. but that's what you get from it. A little hake. There's red hake and silver hake. The target's silver, but we'll take reds. They're fun. Beauties, Look eh? at that guy. Oh, mouthful of food. Yeah. <laughs> cool. They remind me of burbot, but yeah. Yeah, it's like a real saltwater burbot. Yeah. All right, back to fishing. There he is. Ooh, another red. Huh. Oh, squirmy little bugger. <laughs> A yeah. nice little guy. Yeah. <laughs> They're getting a little finicky. I had to do something different. And look at that. Second Paul dropped down. He's Bam. pooping on me. Oh. Yeah. Big, big red hake. Big red. Big red. Big red. Big red. Ah, oh, yeah. Finally Fat landed red. me a big red. Big red. Look at that.
this big oh the biggest red Ooh. oh no yours is bigger sorry <laughs> nice one though look at that guy beautiful nice red hake yeah in hot and heavy now shoot full force all right let me get this off and get down good so job some more thanks good job thank you just caught this red hake and it has a lamprey on it <laughs> sorry it's squirmy look at that oh, that little bugger sitting there trying to get a free meal it's a lamprey for you all right take that off and then get this back in having a great day of fishing oh he just popped off right there that's what the bite looks like see it just like suctions on like a little circle just a little lamprey yeah it's just a baby the second uh, hake we caught with a lamprey on it, though. Poor little bugger. Well, oh well. Back to fishing. Come on. Oh, falls on. Oh, we come off. No. Get back down. He might come back at you. See him on I, I seen him on my sonar, too. Come on, buddy. He might come back. Lamprey. It's really weird. Take a look at what his mouth looks like. It's all squirmy, but that's what a lamprey looks like. I've never really caught anything that had a lamprey on it before, but there should be. Kind of looks like the monster of a dream catcher if you've seen it. Yeah, the bad alien. Yeah. <laughs> Please, man. I used to be a nice fisherman, but I was cursed to take this ball. Oh, I don't know if you could see that. Actually, it's a little purpley. It's a beautiful red hake. It's all purple. That sheen going down its back there. Oh, yeah. Uh, now you see it. You kind of see it. Mm-hmm. Cool. Beautiful coloring. Still getting at him. Red hake. Nice red. It's got a little bit of purple color in it. Just oh. a little bit. Not like the one you got. Oh, it does, eh? Yeah, I see the little bit of purple shine Just on it. Just a little bit. Yep. Pretty fish. Gorgeous. Pretty Love good. these. Right. It's a saltwater fish that we catch ice fishing yeah. out here in We're the maritime. Fishing maritimes. brackish water out here. Yep, it's brackish water. Almost 70 feet. Okay, there you go. Ah, another red. <laughs> On fire. Yep. Holy. Super cool. Nice, right? Hey, what a beauty. Look at that guy. It's our first time out hake fishing. It's really a... Uh, Paying off. <laughs> oh, don't drop it back down the hole. Nope, nope. <laughs> a little fatty, eh? I mean, I just dropped down. I mean, it is like there. Yeah. All right, everyone. Yeah. Well, we're going to pack up now and call it a day. We did get into some fish later on. It was slow in the morning, but we kind of had a little bit of redemption there near the end. So we're going to pack up, get everything filleted, get some stuff done at home. So we don't know how many more trips we're going to have out. It's pretty much the end of the season. Time to get on maple tapping and thinking about our chickens and incubating and the springtime in the garden. So, all right. Have a good day, guys. See you on the next one. Ready to go. It's a good day. Yeah. Got into some red hake. And new species knocked off the list for us because that was a first. Alright, ready to head out? Let's go. Wow, what a great day. It was so much fun getting into the hake, both red and silver. We only caught the one silver, but the red hake were readily available and they were super fun. Can't wait to get back out here next year. But for now, we're off to new adventures and new things for the spring. Tight lines, everyone, and we'll see you on the next one.